Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Nathan. This is Roland Masters. So, I got three cool robot vacuums in front of me. Shark IQ, LG Core Zero R9, Roomba i7. Can you guys guess what they have in common? Yes, they have navigation camera systems. So, we're going to actually do one cool challenge that you guys have been asking for. Can you guys guess where it is? Hold on one second. Yes, that's right. We're actually going to do a low light to no light challenge. We'll see if these robot vaccines can navigate in the dark and we can see if they can go to a target point. All three robot vaccines have the ability to go to a target point within their selected map, so we'll see if they can navigate in the dark. Alright, let's go ahead and do this awesome challenge. Spoiler alert, only one robot vaccine completes the challenge. Can you guess what it is? Is it the Shark IQ? Is it the Roomba i7? Or is it the LG Core Zero R9? I don't know. Watch until the end. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the Shark IQ. Keep in mind that all three robot vacuums don't have infrared cameras or night vision cameras. So in reality, the robot does need some type of light, maybe a night light or a small lamp. The Shark IQ actually does a back and forth clean pattern a couple times, and then once it finds the location, it should start heading towards the master bathroom. But because there's little to no light in this room, the robot was not able to find out where it's at, so it just continue with the back and forth cleaning pattern. So the robot can technically clean in complete dark room, it just won't be able to go to a target point or to an area to clean. All three robots that I tested have wheel encoders, gyros, accelerometers, so with all these sensors they actually allow the robot to continue performing a basic back and forth cleaning pattern without being able to see. So you could technically put this in a dark room and the robot vacuum should be able to clean, but keep in mind that the smart mapping features will not work. But, like I said in the video, there's actually one robot vacuum that completed the challenge where it was able to navigate in complete darkness and go to the target area. The Shark IQ never ended up in its target point, so I went ahead and ended the job and we'll see if the LG could do any better. The LG Core Zero R9 has two main sensors. It has a navigation camera, also has a 3D laser sensor. So we'll see if these sensors help navigate in dark. With the same test with the Shark IQ, I actually told the robot vacuum to go to the master bathroom. We'll see if the R9 can complete the challenge. Now in this area, this is a low light test and then once the robot gets to the master bathroom, it's actually complete darkness. So the challenge gets harder as the robot progresses through the challenge. So I tried this challenge previous with my camera phone and unfortunately I wasn't able to capture the room with this low light so I decided to wait until I got my Canon M50, this is what I'm shooting on, and I was able to manually crank up the ISO. So yes it's still dark but at least you can see something. If you have a keen eye you can see that the LG spins in a 360 degrees to try to get sparing but due to low light it's having troubles and it's just kind of bouncing around but it eventually makes its way towards the master bathroom. So if you're the type of person that likes to vacuum at night and complete darkness or you just have the robot vacuum sitting in the basement and you don't want to turn the lights on, I highly recommend looking at the LiDAR based robot vacuum. So with LiDAR like on the Roblox S6 or the 360 S6, they're not affected by low light situations. They can technically vacuum in complete darkness without any issues and also the smart mapping features work in complete darkness. So you're probably asking why in the world would I go with the camera based system if LiDAR can work in complete darkness? Well, that's a good question. The benefit of a camera based system is the map isn't affected by movable objects. So like if you move furniture around, chairs or boxes, sometimes LiDARs can get confused and screw up the map. Whereas camera based mapping or camera based raw vacuums don't get confused, they actually have a more permanent map. So the reason behind this is if you notice a camera based robot vacuum, they actually position the camera up towards the ceiling. So it actually references the ceiling and towards the wall, not the actual ground or mid-level. So the reason behind this is since your ceiling never changes, the map is more permanent. I think the most ideal solution will have both the camera based system and LiDAR. So it uses the camera as a reference point, but we'll use LiDAR in case the camera can't see where it's at or it needs a more precise location. Okay, it looks like the LG made it halfway and decided to call it quits, but it was still able to navigate back to its charger. Okay, last robot up is the Roomba i7. Okay, spoiler alert, the Roomba i7 was able to complete the challenge, but I'll tell you my two cents on how the robot was able to accomplish this. So there's nothing special about the robot vacuum's camera system, it's just a basic camera for navigation, there's no infrared sensors or LED emitters, and the camera itself is not a night vision camera. So what I suspect the robot can do is it actually 
determines how far away each of the obstacles are or how to get to a certain area. So it actually relies on gyros, accelerometers, and real encodes to give a rough estimate of where each of the rooms are. You may notice that the Roomba bounces around more often and actually is running into obstacles. That's because the robot really can't see, especially once it starts entering the master bathroom and bedroom. It actually is complete darkness. I wanted to see if the robot can actually get to the target point. As you notice, as it enters the room, it's very dark, and this is where you can't really see anything except for the LED light on the robot vacuum. I do have a flashlight that I'm carrying and I actually will shine it a couple times just to give you a rough estimate where the robot is in relation to the room. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video a bit so I don't bore you, but I will say that in this test, the room by 7 wins, it was able to get to the target point, also had the best low light performance, and technically it can navigate in the dark, which it is doing right now. Once it's done, it's going to go ahead and return back to its docking station, I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So I would say that the Roomba wins this challenge because it was able to get to the master bathroom in complete darkness. Also was able to vacuum up that area without any issues. It was able to perform its back and forth clean pattern. Also was able to get back home to its base without any issues. Just adds additional bouncing around but eventually gets to its charging base. So if you find this video or test interesting, please smash the like button, helps me gauge if the video is popular. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. I do a lot of cool little well, vacuum challenges, tests, do head-to-heads. -head. I also do unboxings. And stay tuned because I do get a lot of robot vacuums on this channel. I have some great partnerships. I work with some great companies. So they send me some awesome products in exchange for a review. So stay tuned for that. Some of the new robot vacuums I'll be getting is the 360S7. I'll probably be getting an Osmo 950. Also, I'll be getting a Roblox S5 Max to compare with the Roblox S6. So hang tight and I'll be getting these products shortly within the year 2020. Okay, so looks like the Roomba i7 finished up and it's going back to its charging base. So, hope you liked the video. See you later and be safe out there.